give your security guys a hug, a socially distanced one, because we're in the middle of a pandemic and we are not savages. They had a very bad holiday trying to deal with the log 4J exploit that hit in December. And if you're confused as to what this is all about, stay tuned. Hey everybody, this is Chris Brandt. Welcome to another Future Tech video. On December 9th, a remote code execution bug in Apache's Log4J2 was discovered being exploited in the wild. Now this exploit was alarming for two reasons. First, Log4J is very widely used. And secondly, this exploit is extremely easy to perform. Minecraft, Apple's iCloud, and Amazon Web Services are just some of the major services that were impacted by this. Additionally, after the exploit came to light, bad actors started actively scanning the internet for vulnerable systems. So what is Log4j? Log4j is an open source logging utility used by Java applications. Most systems log an enormous amount of events for analysis and troubleshooting. And Log4j is responsible for writing and processing the log files. For example, say you request a page from a web server that doesn't exist. If the server has Java running, it would likely log this failed attempt through Log4j. Now, the part that was exploited was the context lookup feature, which, like it says, adds additional context to the logs, like adding the currently logged in user, for example. And by submitting a specially crafted request, Log4j would execute code to either download additional exploits from external servers or exploit functions on the system directly. Now, the exploit is fairly trivial to perform because of Log4j's wide use. This became a major problem for businesses over the holidays. And with already overstretched security and development resources, this became a major undertaking for many people. Fortunately, there's a patch available for this. Now, there are still some configuration details that you need to pay attention to, but getting this fixed should be a top priority for your organization. I know there's been talk about this in the news, but I don't think people really entirely grasp how severe this exploit was. In fact, many people are saying this is the worst exploit they've seen in years, if not ever. So this is really a big deal. And there's a lot of people working hard to solve for this problem because it is literally everywhere. And uh, if you see some of your security folks and they're looking freaked out, you know why. Give them a pat on the back and a little encouragement. So thanks for watching. If you like what you saw, give us a like and think about subscribing. And I will see you in the next video.